Now, before we get started, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you share it, mm -hmm. all that good stuff, mm -hmm. and because we love our BWBW family. Yes, yes. And like and subscribe to my channel too. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you tell? Why don't you tell my family? Of, yeah. What, uh, well, she already introduced me as Imani. I'm also the Hopeless Romantic on pretty much all social media except Twitter. But you can. That's where you can find my YouTube channel, and you can also visit hopelessromantic.com for all of my content. Oh, don't forget to do that after this video as well. So, all right, what are we? What is this? What yeah, is all this stuff, and this, is it all necessary? It, it's <laughs> it is, uh, and I will say it's a lot of stuff, and it might come off intimidating at first, but it's not. This is something you can do at home. These are all ingredients you can buy on your own as well, and I call it a hair batter mm -hmm. because it's very rich. It's very thick. If we're talking about sealing in moisture, this is the thing to do it. So that's why I call it a batter instead of like a butter or a... Ah, I get yeah, it. I yeah. get it because batter is a lot more moist it's than a lot butter. More, it's a little thicker. Mm -hmm. And moisture you know? is my problem area, so I'm hyped. Let's a little, get it going. A little thicker. Yeah, come on. And, and you said rich, too. <laughs> Don't forget rich and, and thick. All right. <laughs> so background. There's all these hair products that are out there. You know, I have a natural hair channel as well. And mm -hmm. every day there's a new product. Every day there's a new regimen. So what made you say I would like to make my own something as opposed to just going out and getting something started to make? Yeah. Okay, great question. So years ago when I was in college, I chopped up all my hair, went natural. But mm. at that time, I'm a little older than some people because at that time there weren't a lot of products. So, um, you know, there were kind of like the normal stuff like lusters and that kind of stuff. Um, and I was just really inspired by the fact that I could get access to things like shea butter, mm -hmm. um, all these different oils. And there was a small, small following at the time of people sharing recipes. So I started experimenting, putting stuff together. Apparently people liked it. My friend saw what I was making and I decided to make a YouTube video at the time sharing a recipe. Hoping to inspire the world, that did not do that. Actually, what happened was people were like, how can I buy this product? Nice. I'm like, I made the video so you can make it, not for me to sell it. But it turned into a little side hustle that I didn't like doing, to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not called to, to, to be in the kitchen on my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> doing extra work after no, work. No, 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 no. <laughs> so um, uh, when I watched that old video... It's a little cringy. Yep. And, you know, I'm sure it was more than a while ago in all of our videos. It was, a, like yes, a long time ago. Somebody's going to find it. I hope you don't send it to me, but you're going to find it on the internet of this old video of me making this product. At that time, I used a lot of oils because I was so excited and I just kept learning about stuff that I threw everything in the kitchen sink yes. into that recipe. It's all the moisture. All the moisture. But when I rewatched it, I was like, I don't even use half of these <laughs> ingredients anymore. <laughs> so I really wanted to do an updated video for you guys. Yes, and a remix. A remix. A simpler remix. So this this recipe is much more easier, less expensive, because you don't need a bunch of oils. We love that. We love less expensive. And it does the job just as good, if not better. So for this remix mm -hmm. version of your hair batter, if we're not using all the oils, like the kitchen, kitchen sink oils from yeah. before, <laughs> We're not using all of those. How do we narrow it down to what's here on the counter? So um, I, I, I used to try and figure out the science behind the oils. And honestly, if you're like me, you know, you learn it for the day, mm -hmm. but you're not really retaining it. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of the times it just boils down to availability and price. Right. So for me, the easier ingredients to get access to are things like coconut oil. Right. Um, so... Uh, a major component of the batter recipe starts with coconut oil. You can buy that at your grocery store. Mm -hmm. It can be expensive depending on where you go, but if you go to Walmart, all these, you know, it's a little cheaper. So when it comes to coconut oil, I always like to go for organic and unrefined. And so that is a little bit more pricier, but it's still accessible. You can buy it at any grocery store. And so um, that's what I would recommend. And the same thing for all your oils. If you want to go for something that is... Um, natural and just good for you 
Natural and unrefined is always the best. If you're doing something like olive oil, I don't put that in my recipe, but some do. Always want cold pressed. Same thing with grapeseed oil. Ah, I did not know that. Yeah. So um, with jojoba oil, this is a little bit more pricier, but it's the it's a great oil to use, and you don't use too much of it, so it'll last a long time. When you say a little bit more pricier, what's our price range that we're thinking of? Like, how much do you remember spending? Yeah, this is only like sixteen ounces, and you're probably going to spend maybe twenty bucks on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if it lasts a while, I feel if like it, it's worth yes. it. If you if it lasts a while, it's definitely worth it. Another great oil to use that's less expensive is sweet almond oil. Mm, I love it sweet is, almond oil. You like using it too? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It smells good to me. It smells good. It's good for you. And it's not as expensive as a jojoba oil. So um, you get a lot of it and you can use a lot of it as a result. We also want to do castor oil. If you know anything about skin or hair care, castor oil is amazing. I love it. So good. Get you a good Jamaican or Haitian castor oil. Oh, yeah. It's gonna grow your hair too. It's gonna grow it right out of your scalp. Absolutely. In weeks. <laughs> now, I'm not even joking. Yes. That castor oil will get you together. Yes, castor oil is great for you. So that definitely has to be a part of the mix. And then I like to add argan oil because we all know that argan oil is exceptionally good for your hair. All right, so these are all the oils that you need, but what's gonna be your base? Water. I'm guessing. Shea butter. Shea butter, okay. Get butter, you some know. good shea butter. <laughs> I'm like, water, because it's the base of everything. You have a point though. Uh, when you use this product, you will need to have at least moist hair. So you're so on. So I was a little bit right. You're 100% right. Okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah. We're just not going to put it in the batter. <laughs> so we have a pound of shea butter. We're going to use half of this. Ooh. And it's going to stretch. Yeah. It smells like the earth, which means it's good for you. My hands are a little ashy. Yeah, you gotta get them knuckles, girl. Yeah, you know. I noticed it right when you brought the shea butter. <laughs> Go ahead. What's the benefits of shea butter? Well, shea butter is just always um, it does everything for you. So, like, if if uh, you have dry hair, you definitely, like you said, have moist or wet hair. Apply your shea butter on your hair, but not like in the block like this. You have to mix it and, and um, you know, get it malleable. And once it gets on your hair, while it's wet, it seals and locks in the water. Mm -hmm. That's how you get your, your hair moisturized the way you really want it to. So this is really like a gift from the gods. Right on, like just like right into our hands for us to use. I love shea butter. <laughs> <laughs> I could bathe in shea butter all day, every day. It's so good. Okay, so now we are ready to get mixing and like a true Jamaican, I don't know my own recipe. <laughs> so, Amani, I'm so glad you're here. Yes. I'll be getting <laughs> away for the day. Thank you, I appreciate it. And tell me how much I should be putting in because I'd be eyeballing this and sometimes. You know, sometimes you just have to let the ancestors guide you. Yeah, exactly. They know how much to put in there. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna help our viewers. No, it will not. Um, help me. I'm glad that you're here to help me. <laughs> Tell so me. I'll be the ancestors oh, today. <laughs> appreciate it. Love it. <laughs> All right. So we had to start with um, half a pound of shea butter. So this is a whole pound. You can weigh it. I, I don't know how much a half a pound of grams are. If you have a whale, uh, oh. a whale. <laughs> I don't know how much a half a pound of shea butter is in grams. If you have a weight, a uh, scale. Scale. Thank you. Um, but I just eyeball it. So about a half of this. We're gonna do half of these. Chunks here. That's not how much that was. What does it say? Two cups. No, it does say it says two, two and a half. Not even accurate. So uh, no, two cups to half a pound of shea butter. So we. Oh, say okay. Two cups to half a pound. Beautiful. So we got our shea butter in the bowl. Mm. We have our coconut oil. We're gonna do two point five ounces. Two point. Okay. So um. Honestly, you could put a little more in there. So, uh, I think in this, it's about, it's a little under four ounces, liquid ounces. So 2.5 to however much you want to put in. Yeah, girl, <laughs> you know. And I will say this, in the winter time when your shea butter is really stiff, sometimes it's hard to really work it. So sometimes I put a little extra in, in there. So depending on when you're making it 
will also determine if you need to add a little more. Yes, and I, you'll probably want to make sure the ratio is good because also in the winter time, uh, coconut oil flakes. Very so. You know. Do you? I before I found out I was allergic to it, I used to be walking around with oh. snow on my head. <laughs> 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 in Kentucky, so watch that because yeah, I, just make sure that it's a you know you have a good mixture of. That's both a of great them tip, and I'm so glad you're here because I wouldn't have known to say that. <laughs> um, you will not be close to this anymore because I did not know you were allergic to coconut. Oil. It's okay, I'm okay. I'm holding the ingredients. We are good. But don't worry, I'm gonna make you a special batch without it at some oh, point. Thank I got you. you. I got you. Special treatment. Okay, so what's next? How many? How much jojoba oil should we put in? Four tablespoons of jojoba oil. Four. Okay. Is there a little seal on it? <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> there we go. Now we are in business. Okay. Four. So yes. Four. four tablespoons. One. Two. Three, three. and four. four. Mm. How much sweet almond oil? Uh, three tablespoons of sweet three. almond oil. You know what? Today I'm feeling like two. Let's start with two. You can always add more. Okay. All right. And when you when you do this, you'll notice that um, your almond oil is going to be a little bit thinner than your oil, oil. That adds to the richness. And so basically, the point of the measurements here is to make sure that it's the right consistency, right? Exactly. So you're not just like throwing stuff in the bowl. Yes, and you don't want a stiff batter. So I, I like a thicker batter, but you don't want it so stiff that you can't, um, you know, it's not malleable mm -hmm. or you can't really work with it. So the, the ratios here is to help whip it up. Cool. How much castor oil are we looking at? Castor oil, six tablespoons. Six tablespoons, it's a teaspoon, so we finna just do a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Jamaican casserole though. Yes. Isn't that so pretty? That is gonna be your scalp so good. Let me see. Just put a little more in there. Mm -hmm. that, looks, that looks good. I love casserole. Yeah, it's amazing. You can put this right on your skin, your knuckle, your mm -hmm. ankle. How much argan oil? Um, argan oil, I think you're just supposed to eyeball it. There's no measurement <laughs> to it, so. <laughs> Your heart's um, desire is measurement. <laughs> and honestly, the argan oil, I'll put it in the big part here, but sometimes, um, just to make sure it's a concentrated amount, i also add it, like, so I'll mix it up without it, and then in the bottle, then I'll put my um, uh, dropper's worth, and then, uh -huh. yeah, so that's the way you can do it, too. Okay, okay. So here's what we have, and we're going to use our hand mixer to start mixing it, and we're going to watch it. So you want to mix it enough where all of the chunks are gone, and we're going to watch for that special sheen. Once you get that mm -hmm. shine, that means you're on the right should not have skimped out on my castor oil. So remember how we only did two instead of three? So we're gonna add a little more. Let's add some more. Which one is the castor oil, okay. That's a good, um, you know, I, again, I don't do this often, so <laughs> I would've been like, what's wrong with it? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I can feel that there's you not enough castor yeah. oil. You gotta feel. And then if you're like, my castor oil is a little too expensive, do something cheaper, like coconut oil or sweet almond oil. So let's use our spatula. This is how you know I don't be trying to cook for real, for real. Because oh. I would be like, this is taking way too long. Girl, let me tell you, I learned this the hard way, <laughs> giving away products with rocks in it, rocks and shea butter. So <laughs> you, I had to learn the hard way too. So we uh, used the spatula, got rid of the excess on the sides, and we it's amazing how much the consistency
consistency has changed. Yeah. And, and the, how many times? And how much it's like tripled in size. Yes. Yeah. That's like, I feel like when you first started, it was like thick. And then it kind of got a little bit more mushy. Mm-hmm. And then it started whipping. And now it's kind of like marshmallow cream. Yep. Yep. And the, the, a pound will last you forever, honestly. Really? Mm-hmm. Because this is only half a pound of shaving. Oh, right? yeah. True. <laughs> I should have put more in. Or yeah, I, put some more I'm, in. I can smell it standing right over here. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Okay, so now we are ready to bottle it up. Um, hopefully you have some mason jars lying around. If not, you should buy some. Is this like an old jelly jar? This is an old jelly jar. Well, well a jam. it's a, like a jam jar, but it's the one that you buy specifically for it. For jamming, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but it didn't have like jam in it. Oh, uh, gotcha. Got <laughs> now, hey, because I, I would have put it in one of the <laughs> So we're just going to put it in. And it really is shiny. Like, you were not mm -hmm. kidding about there being a sheen. With this bad boy till you see that shine, because she be playing games with you. <laughs> she be acting like she's ready and she's not. Now, when it's just resting, like if I just had some at home, does the consistency change a bit? It will stay exactly the same. Okay. No matter what. So it'll stay wet. Ooh. Uh, it looks. Now, when you rub it together, it's just going to transform the oil. Technique. Okay. Ooh. So you really do only need like a little. You need a little bit. That's it. On hair, on skin. Ooh. ooh. <sighs> yep. I, I can think. feel my my skin is it's my singing. skin is singing. It's singing. It's it's doing nicely. So on your wash day, when your hair is still wet or a little damp. Apply that, do the twist out, mm -hmm. your, well, your flat twist or your two strand twist, whatever. Yes. You'll feel it. Like, it's amazing. I would definitely put that on, like, right after your conditioner. Like, mm -hmm. when I, either with my leave-in or right after I rinse out. Sometimes I don't do leave-in. But if I rinse out, like, a hair mask or something, and mm -hmm. I'm done with conditioning, and then just while my hair is damp, put that on before I put on whatever I'm going to twist it with. Yep. That, I'm just imagining the feel, girl, when you take your twist out. The way that the twist, I just, I just know. <laughs> I just know. And it's all good for you. It's all natural stuff. If your body could process these oils, you could eat them. Don't do that. <laughs> your body can't process jojoba oil like it can olive oil or shea butter. Um, I didn't know that. I've never tried to eat it. I mean, you can eat it. it. <laughs> it's just going to mess you up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that one's something. So, Amani, is this something you feel like you could do? It is. I don't feel like this is difficult at all. And I probably, I mean, I'm sure you'll have the recipe up, but I mean, it seems simple enough yeah. that I could just kind of eyeball everything. Yep, yep. And replace, obviously, for you, replace the coconut oil yes. with a different oil. Different oil. And use your favorite oil. If you like grapeseed, olive like oil, oil, you could, yeah, all of these oils are substituted. You can use the, use the oils that you prefer. Yes. And I mean, we talked a lot about some of the, well, we talked a little about some of the benefits of each oil mm -hmm. and that's not neither of us are chemists or uh, cosmetologists or anything this is stuff you can look up online yes. you can just google grapeseed oil benefits and all that stuff will come right up for yeah. you yeah and then you know experiment i don't like grapeseed oil that much you know because i had to use them um and i figured out i don't really like how they smell so <laughs> another way is to try them out mm -hmm. and see what you know see what you like but this is something you can do and that's why i wanted to share it with everyone that you have access to this stuff, you, if you have the time, it's not that hard or, or it doesn't take that much time to make your own hair care products and you can use this with to support your other hair care products. So it's all about just creating, um, taking control of your hair and then looking fabulous at the end of it. Here, that's, that's the main <laughs> goal, is looking fabulous. Exactly. This so, is free game, y'all. Like, this is... She just showed you how to make it. Boom, do it. You can do it. Okay, come on, let's, let's just go, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys always showing us love at Black Beauty Well. A special shout out to Shania. Woo! Thank you, girl. She's my intern and she's gorgeous and wonderful and talented. Special shout out to Kendrick, her filmographer, my other <laughs> intern. <laughs> Miss Tyla and her team. <laughs> and that is, is it still on? It's rolling, yeah. And a special shout out to my dear friend Angela 